Hi everybody, this is Jay Simons, I'm the president of Atlassian. You're live with Cyber Media. Yeah, hi, I'm uh, Sharif Mansour, Confluence Product Manager, and um, Martin Siebert seems to have a, a very good, very good interview technique and loves to interview everyone at Summit. So we're about to surprise him and interview him himself. He doesn't know this is about to happen, so let's go ahead and do that. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm here with Martin, Martin Siebert at uh, last year's summit 2013. Oh, hi Martin, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. I, I didn't expect that, but... No, no, I'll, I'll ask the questions, all right? Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, um, so welcome to, to summit 2013. We're at the end of the conference. Uh, Absolutely. How have you found the conference? Um, it was a thrilling experience, yeah. actually. Yeah. Any, any you, I, I'm not really surprised because you've been good at that in the last years already. Yeah. So you're saying Atlassian is normally a thrilling company? It is absolutely a thrilling company when it comes to software, and it, it's, uh, you don't expect the software companies to be very good at these interpersonal things, um, but... Like, uh, like interviews and stuff like that. Yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. But it, it appears that there are a couple of employees of Atlassian that kind of are outgoing and do these interview stuff. So, uh, end of two or three long days at Summit, uh, what were the highlights for you for, uh, for customers? What are you most excited about? I think uh, what is most exciting for me is Jira Service Desk, which is actually the only thing that I think is interesting for customers is the new products. I know that a conference is way more than only the new products, but that, that is the things that excite me the most. Um, Jira Service Desk is just an enhancement of Jira that a lot of Jira customers will need. Um, I know I need to say Confluence questions. Because well, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for the interview is not going to finish till we get something about Confluence in there. Uh, but um, even uh, what is almost even more exciting in terms of um, uh, excites me personal and also from my role as marketing and sales uh, a guy at Seabird Media is um, HipChat Server, which um, because HipChat is so universal. If you look at people uh, who have a um, smartphone um, and even even my mother and my father they they start using whatsapp and uh, like uh, they they go they, they never send texts but they are on whatsapp now and hip chat is basically if, you, if you've never heard of hip chat is uh, kind of whatsapp for the enterprise it's uh, it's all this chatter it's all the um, uh, rich content and even video and audio right. and then there's this third product Oh, so I think it's official now. Martin Siebert has the coolest parents in the world. I mean, my parents don't even use WhatsApp. They don't even use iPhones. Oh, okay. um, but, but that's, that's okay. I forced them to. No, yeah, 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 we'll do it in the interview. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, so other than uh, so with, with HipChat, so why would someone bother with HipChat when they already have something like Skype or, uh, or uh, an instant messenger of some sort? Actually, I think that, um, that was, that's how you sell that. Um, uh, what we see a lot is that uh, customers don't have any chat there. Um, they don't. Uh, what they search for is something that is more casual, faster than Confluence. And uh, often they ask us nowadays for microblogging uh, solutions. And we say, look, um, between Confluence and HipChat, there's almost no space for microblogging. So why don't you look at HipChat? And then they say, yeah, that's an awesome product, but can I install it behind the firewall? And the answer is yes now. So the, normally the, the conversation ended there, mm. but uh, it, it's no longer that way. So it's so a nice segue to, I like it how we're leading up to the, the great product Confluence now where we're, we're getting to the, to the yeah, exciting yeah, product. Awesome so product, so yeah. highlights for Confluence uh, this summer for you? Um, actually, I think that Confluence is already a very mature product and uh, it's getting harder and harder for you guys um, to, to top what you already have. No, you I, just, I just need to pay Martin. <laughs> I just need to pay Martin now, sorry. No, no problem. Um, for, for a partner like us, um, Confluence is actually, and that, that's what you want to hear, right? The most important product uh, in the Atlassian uh, stack because there's so much extensibility, there's so much um, customization that those technical teams, they don't want to do that, right? Like they, theming and this is boring stuff so this goes to people like us and with Jira and the tech stuff you, you they only want find boring when the server goes down and down and so performance issues scaling issues and all this stuff but um, so um, 
for Confluence. What I um, like a lot is um, space templates um, because this helps us to help customers to get kind of a, what do you call, blue, 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 blueprint yeah. of um, uh, content that they should have about a department, about documentation or whatever. And um, now, that, like, like this awesome new product, Confluence Questions, which um, at first I thought, okay, now they're, they're giving a copycat. Like, we have Crora out there for, for the normal people like me. We have Stack Overflow for all the nerds around here. Um, we have a lot of German um, copycats. And now Atlassian also copycats this. You ask a question, he gives an answer, and we're all going to vote on that. And then we'll t uh, finally decide that this is the right answer. And we'll do it over and over again. And we'll have a lot of redundant content. I thought, OK. This is probably going to sell, and Sharif is going to get a raise afterwards, and fine, we're going to sell that also. And when I got deeper into that here, um, actually, I think it's a very good idea. Um, still, I already see, I, I have to be some, a bit negative still. Uh, it wouldn't be a Martin Siebert interview if there was no negativity at all. Yeah. So I see a lot of customers ask me, look, this is so essential. Now, after you've, I'm going to explain why it's mm. essential, but let's, this is so es ex uh, essential to the product. Didn't they just like triple the price for Confluence and told us they are going to include enterprise features? Shouldn't that be kind of a enterprise feature that's just for free? Do I really have to pay for that? And um, there's another video that actually I gave where the answer is in. You'll have to find out. <laughs> um, uh, it's with Matt. You can um, uh, he likes to do interviews every now and then. He's got a YouTube channel. I highly recommend to subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's, it's very good. Actually, Lots of are you posting interesting. Uh, you're going to posting this uh, interview then on, on uh, Atlassian. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we might. Maybe we might. Yeah, uh, that's something I could be working on. Yeah. Um, however, um, coming to to the good part is that um, Confluence Questions actually. Um, offers a new perspective into content creation. Like normally today, you say, oh, I'm so bothered that people ask me this thing over and over again, so I'm going to create a page. So whenever they come to me, I'm going to point them to this page. And now this process gets incorporated into Confluence already. So they don't, they don't even have to come to you. They can ask online, and you can answer there. You still create your page. Maybe you create it in questions. Maybe you create it like an normal wiki page. It doesn't matter because it's the same um, rich text editor with all the features and uh, the cool stuff that we uh, cheer about uh, so much. So um, what I like a lot is that today our employees and also our customers, they, they complain because they don't find this awesome content because they have different approaches, they have different use cases, they have uh, different views, they don't know the right terms because they uh, know as little English as I do, or more, or less, or whatever. And um, with the questions, you can now have all this redundant content um, with all the different approaches, with all the different terms, with plurals, and with uh, maybe even um, misspellings, and all this will be then found in Confluence. And it's not going to be the page that I'm searching, but you're saying, oh, this is the question I'm asking. So you get to the question, and then you get the answer there. And um, the, if you ask me one thing, what is the one thing that people draw us back the most about Wiki? What is that? Well, no, no, I'm asking the questions. Uh, he doesn't know the answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to be unbiased throughout this whole interview process. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely unbiased. Um, so... Um, what draws, draws me back is um, that it's so unstructured. Like, um, the, the good thing about a wiki is that everybody can put something in, but um, unstructured also means I have redundancy, I have maybe misleading content because something else which is redundant is um, uh, in an older state or a newer state. And um, this kind of gets better now with questions because you have a leverage for this redundancy. Like, all these questions can point to this one single document where the official answer is in. And this is kind of, um, you, we could say we flood all the, the, the bad content with uh, good questions. Um, and I don't know whether 
this is how you want to sell this internally but uh, no matter what it's going to help you a lot and the the bad message is that our customers that buy a conference today will have to buy conference questions tomorrow again uh, or on top so you're going to be doing more money so uh, I'm not I'm not going to comment on that but um, so uh, conference questions available in beta today so you can download it try it a good way to give feedback early on in the process so we can 1.0 can have a lot of your feature requests and feedback from that. So wrapping up really Was quickly. Was that the, the unbiased uh, um, interview? Just trying to give them uh, something to action after ah, the okay. interview. Um, um, so, uh, what, uh, so if you're watching this and you haven't been to Atlassian Summit before, what would be one reason you would recommend a customer to come to Atlassian Summit? Um, do you want me to answer that? From the customer's view? Or yeah, from, from a, view? so I'm a customer. Uh, why should I come to a license summit? What would be your number one reason? Uh, you know, I've asked this question probably like 15 times in the last three days. And what came out the most is uh, meeting all the people, all the Atlassians, all the customers, all the partners in one place. And then actually, them, they don't have anything to do apart, uh, but talk to you. Um, some gave some speeches, sometimes. But um, still, you have a lot of space. Cool. And uh, just to, just to fi finish up, I don't think uh, we know. This is in your non-biased answers. What would be your favorite Atlassian product? I don't think I've ever asked you that. Like the one you enjoy using the most in, uh, in uh, 100 characters or less. Let's try and keep this one short. 100 characters or less. Hey, yo, you've <laughs> used, you just used half your characters. <laughs> Hip chat confluence. And there you have it. And uh, thanks for uh, attending another lovely Martin Siebert interview. This time, probably a first, uh, Martin, in uh, Martin Siebert was interviewed himself. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Tune in for next time.